This summer has been an unusual one. As a church, we've been asking the Lord, what can we do to keep the work moving forward at Fair Plain? Due to COVID, canvassing programs all across the country have either been canceled or changed to a phonathon. We've been inspired by one canvassing group in Mobile, Alabama, and what may be the only canvassing program functioning in the traditional capacity. The response this group has experienced is unprecedented and positive. With our call to witness and the Michigan Conference's full support, we have prayerfully decided to move forward with a two-week canvassing program in our territory, Sunday, July 26th through Sunday, August 9th. Wednesday, July 22nd, before the program, will be our first training session just prior to prayer meeting. We are also taking necessary precautions with masks, frequent hand washing, and other changes to the traditional canvassing model to keep our members and those who we meet safe. I woke this morning with a burden on my heart. Ever since these events with COVID has started, I've been thinking about what's going to be effective in our work. My prayer has been that the Holy Spirit would bless our efforts like when we had the Daniel 2 image. As a result, it wasn't our words or actions, but His that gave us success. Let's be willing to surrender our fears of sickness and rejection to the Lord. Let's step out in faith that God will provide those things that are lacking. God will perform what He said He will do. He will give us words to speak and power to face any challenge. This canvassing program is only a short time frame. Since we were unable to go to camp meeting, let's dedicate that time and spend it risking ourselves for God. We have tried internet evangelism and the response was weak. Witnessing is about two souls meeting and speaking together about spiritual matters and cannot be replaced by a virtual interaction. The very air will have a miasma, says the prophet. Sickness and pestilence will be everywhere. We know these things will come. It should spur us on that this world will not last much longer. Knowing this, we can't allow what we see and hear today to paralyze us in fear. Yes, we should and will take necessary precautions, but the work must move forward. The close of probation is soon upon us. Let's put our shoulder to the plow. We're living in the most solemn time of Earth's history, and yet the people in the world need to know that the signs of the times are fulfilling. Take to them the books that will enlighten them. Those who have long been in the truth are asleep. They need to be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. The third angel's message is to be proclaimed with a loud voice. Tremendous issues are before us. We have no time to lose. There are people who are grasping for hope and perishing for a lack of knowledge. In doing this work, we will be sanctified by the Holy Spirit as we share with them the most solemn truths that have ever been given to humans. I have been instructed that the canvassy work is to be revived. The question we have to ask ourselves is who will take this message to the people of the Benton Harbor Fair Plain area? I really appreciate the story of Nehemiah. When God had called him to the work of rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, God led him in setting out a plan. And as he presented this plan to the leaders and priests of Israel, look at the response they had. Among the first to catch Nehemiah's spirit of zeal and earnestness were the priests of Israel. From their position of influence, which they occupied, these men could do much to hinder or advance work. Their ready cooperation at the very onset contributed not a little to its success. Thus, it should be with every holy enterprise. I'm really excited about this canvassing opportunity, and I believe the Lord will bless our efforts. Each of us has a sphere of influence, either in our homes or positions in the church. Let's be united and rally behind this effort, like the priest of Israel, and ignite a thousand torches for the work of God. The canvassing work has, to a great degree, impacted my life personally. Meeting and praying with people in the darkest times of their lives has brought many to tears. Truth is spread through both conversation and the silent preacher, a book. Startling messages in the great controversy. 
precious promises of a loving Savior in the Desire of Ages, and clear direction as to how we can be saved is laid out in Steps to Christ. All are precious books that need to be shared, and I trust that God will bring into our midst those seeking for truth. Let's press together and make these two weeks an effort that will last for eternity. Please prayerfully consider how you can participate in this effort and email us at ministries at fairplainadventist.org.